Coronation Street's Alina Pop, played by Rixandra Porajniku, and Tyrone Dobbs, Alan Halsell, suffered tragedy following Wednesday night's double bill. Alina had a miscarriage following the fire that broke out at their flat while she was asleep, and she believes it is her fault due to a candle she had lit beforehand. However, throughout the episode suspicions arose around Tyrone's daughter, Hope's state, Isabella Flanagan, after she began asking her grandmother, Evelyn Plummer, Maureen Lipman, questions about whose fault it was. Evelyn quickly shared her thoughts with Hope's mum Fizz State, Jenny McAlpine, who shut down her accusations. However, Fizz appeared to be worried. Will she confide in her ex-partner Tyrone about Hope and more importantly, will Tyrone take the fall for his daughter? In recent scenes, Corey fans have watched Hope as she struggled to come to terms with her dad having a baby with someone else. She even defaced and attacked a teddy bear after Tyrone seemed to put Alina before her as he tended to his girlfriend's health scare and was rushed to hospital with stomach pains. Despite Tyrone's best efforts to make amends with his daughter, things just seem to go from bad to worse for Hope. The youngster even stole Alina's flat keys and later broke into their home while Tyrone was out of the house. However, Alina, who was none the wiser, was sound asleep in bed after not feeling well. She was later woken up by the sound of the smoke alarm when she saw smoke start to creep under her bedroom door. Luckily for Alina, her neighbors Eileen Grimshaw, Sue Cleaver, and Sally Metcalf, Sally Dinavor, saw the incident unfold and were on hand to call for help. The emergency services were called and when Evelyn Plummer, Maureen Lipman, was told, she phoned her grandson Tyrone straight away. Alina was then taken to hospital and despite initially being told by doctors that she and the baby were okay, she later found out she had lost their unborn child. In scenes that unfolded during Wednesday night's double bill, Alina blamed herself for what happened. Later on, Tyrone went to inspect the damage done to their home and spoke with one of the firefighters on the scene. Despite not knowing what caused the fire, the firefighter said he believed it was caused by a lit candle. When Tyrone told Alina that it was caused by a candle, she admitted she had lit a candle before she fell asleep. With Alina in hospital and Tyrone busy looking after her, Evelyn was left to look after Hope. However, Evelyn began to grow suspicious of the youngster after she started blaming Alina for the fire. When the police turned up at the scene to inspect the fire, Hope then went on to ask what would happen if someone started the fire and got caught. Why are the police here? Hope asked as Evelyn replied, they have to find out who started it. It was Alina's candle, Hope insisted as Tyrone's grandmother hit back. We don't know that do we? Hope, somebody could have got badly hurt in that fire. Now they, the police need to know how it happened and why. Evelyn was worried by Hope's remark and so in the end, she came clean to Fizz about what she had been saying. Are you saying my daughter started that fire? Fizz quizzed as the pensioner replied. Well, it wouldn't be the first time, would it? And you said yourself she has been playing up. Trending Fizz hit back. I can't believe what you are accusing her of. It's obviously what you think. The things she was saying, it wasn't right? Evelyn replied, despite refusing to believe her daughter would be capable of such a crime. Fizz was worried and decided to speak to Tyrone and she quizzed him on how the fire started. 
As the episode came to a close, Alina insisted she didn't start the fire after Tyrone explained where the firefighters found the candle. Listen, you said it was over there when it started the fire, Alina explained. But that's not where I left it. So much was happening it must be hard to remember everything, Tyrone reassured. However, Alina was adamant she did not start the fire and Tyrone began to look worried about it. I've lost my baby, Tyrone, she added. Not my mind, I did not put a lit candle near that cot. If it was, someone else put it here. As the pair embraced, Tyrone looked concerned. Does he think his daughter is capable of committing such a crime? If so, will Alina end up leaving him and exit Weatherfield for good if he ends up taking the fall for hope?